Ready? It's me. That door open when I close that door, CJ. Sonny, 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 Sonny. All right, so I am officially here at the Brick Hotel, and uh, Sunny is about 10 minutes away. So actually what I'm probably gonna end up doing, I'm gonna grab my bag, I'm gonna go up to the room um, beforehand, and, uh, or should I wait for Sunny? Hmm. I'm gonna go up to the room now. Grab. All right, so I'm gonna grab my bag here. We're gonna run up to the room now. Yeah, my truck did lock. All right, so they give you these old school room keys like this right here, and it's pretty neat and very, oh man. There's after hour codes that you have to have to get in this place because they don't staff it. You have to have after hour codes to get in here, like after staff hours. With that being said, the last time that I was here, there is actually a ghost and I only know her name by Ophelia and she did oh it's Bernadette Bernadette is her name and she is the actual ghost that is going to be in the room with us she's the actual ghost that is in the room and attached to the room Tinker Hall number four is the room number that we're staying in tonight and uh, as you all can tell I'm rather excited right now so let me punch this code in to get in here Okay guys, so I'm literally in here all by myself. If y'all can remember, that's the restaurant right there, the old safe. We're gonna go ahead on up. And um, it is getting a little dark outside. I have the room key. Hopefully um, Ophelia does not, she hates when you call her that. Her real name is Bernadette. But Ophelia hates when you call her Ophelia. <laughs> oh man. I got an eerie feeling about tonight, and just the fact that I'm here alone right now in this entire hotel is what creeps me out more than anything, so. Feels a little empty in here. Oh. <laughs> Look, guys, I got Sunny this bed right here. And um, anyway, this is my bed. This is actually Bernadette's room. That's B for Bernadette on the pillow. We got a little bit of snacks and stuff. So as you all remember, the last time we were in here, that cabinet right there actually was open and then slammed closed. Oh, oh! Really, really weird. Creepy vibes up here. You can actually see um, the Georgetown Circle. And uh, yeah, just a really, really weird vibe that, I, that I'm just getting in this room already. Just being here by myself. All right, let's see. Hello? Ophelia? Ophelia, do you feel me? Oh man, so... <laughs> So as soon as Sonny calls me, we're gonna go down there to him. And uh, wow, that's a random chair. 
So, I've got a lot of stuff that I packed, not only clothes, but inside my clothes here, I brought the spirit box, which you guys absolutely love. Also have the EMF meter, as you all can see. This thing is one of my favorite things to mess with, that and the spirit box. It's kind of my go-to stuff when I go exploring and um, ghost hunting, so to speak. But downstairs, we're actually gonna order some pizza as well. Kind of talk about, you know, some ghost experiences that we've had. And I'm also gonna tell you all mainly the ghost experience that I've had here at the Brick Hotel. Now, the Brick Hotel is absolutely historic and I love it. The nature of the hotel, the setup of it, a whole nine yards, the people that run this place are super nice. I wanna give a shout out to Garth. Garth is absolutely awesome. Every time I've came here, which is twice now, he has just given the best customer service absolutely possible. You will not find nicer people than right here at the Brick Hotel. So if you ever are coming through the area, you wanna go and you know, have a ghost experience, or if you just wanna stay somewhere on your way to the beach or from the beach, I recommend this place 110%, guys. So I'm gonna just encourage you check out the Brick Hotel, Georgetown, Delaware, Google it, whatever you got to do. Awesome people here for sure. And um, I'm going to go ahead and order some Domino's for Sonny and I now. Georgetown Domino's, please hold. Okay. Okay. Comment below if you just heard that. I swear to you, the lamp over here looked like it moved. That lamp right there. Don't know. Ophelia, I'm laying on your bed. Do I turn off? It's not going to help you. Uh, yes, can I place an order for delivery? Yep, what's the address? Um, it's the Brick Hotel here in Georgetown. The what hotel? The Brick Hotel right there on the circle in Georgetown. Yep. Okay. I can look it up. Um, can I get a large pepperoni pizza? Uh -huh. And your uh, stuffed cheesy bread? Uh -huh. And then can I get uh, two orders of your um, icing, your icing cups? Or what? Uh, the icing. Oh, the icing. Yeah. Um, I think that'll do it. What the shit? $28? Golly day. All right, folks. So we're going to go downstairs. We are going to see if good old Sunny Deeds is here yet. By the time we get downstairs, he'd probably be here. <laughs> hey, oh, it's Sunny. Sunny Deeds. What up? You are absolutely nuts. Man. I know, I know. <laughs> and I love it. Gonna be a fun time, Sunny Deeds. Gonna be a fun time. <laughs> All right. All right, okay, guys, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it actually looks like someone is watching us. In that second window, there's the head, the shoulders. I'm not exactly sure if it's a person looking out that window or what, but it was not there a couple minutes ago because that light came on and then this clearly is just a little strange, but it might be the person from that room for all we know, but I just figured I would document that because that is a little creepy. So before we get this investigation started, I want to tell you about the three main ghosts that reside here in the Brick Hotel. Number one is Mr. Baker. He is the one that is downstairs in the kitchen. He is known to throw plates, throw knives, break glass. He's really known for that. It's not uncommon for people to come in and see a plate broken on the ground or anything like that. The last time I was here, a couple months back, there was a plate that actually broke. Scared the ever-living shit out of me while I was exploring. It, I don't know, kind of like gets me choked up even talking about it, but um, it was scary. Number two is Mary. She resides in the central square of the hotel. We'll show you where that is. Last time I was here, I really didn't try to make a contact with her. It really didn't interest me. I think that she does have a pretty nice story to tell us. That's why we brought the spirit box for tonight. Number three and the final one that creeps me out more than anyone is Bernadette, AKA Ophelia. The room I showed you all in the very beginning of the video is where she resides and we can actually see it right over here to our right and it is on the far 
north side of the hotel and it is one of the creepiest rooms in my opinion we we went to all the tinker halls they call it tinker hall number four is where this room is and i can tell you right now tinker hall number four has a lot of weird stuff going on it when we were in there investigating a couple months ago my friend mo and i actually one of the um, tabletops slammed down we heard somebody like sit on the bed it was a lot of creepy stuff that happened in this room so without any further ado i'm sorry tinker hall tinker hall <laughs> i know i did not pick the name Okay. <laughs> so let's get to it. All right, so we're about to head inside right now. And what I need you all to do is keep an eye out and keep your ear. So we're about to head inside to the actual room right now. I need you all to keep your eyes peeled and your ears clearly listening because there's a lot of things that are going to go on throughout this video and throughout the night. And I need you all to be my eyes and ears. You ready, Is that sonny? door open? Well, I closed that door, CJ. Did you really? Yeah, you did, because it slammed shut. Yeah. Nobody was came out here, though. We didn't even go out the door. Hmm. Okay, that's a little strange. I do have my Sprite, though, just in case. Interesting. I'm going to Sprite a ghost. Oh, my gosh. Dude, that was an right instant now, cold feeling. Walk in and going to take you with us. We're going to go through the door. It's kind of a little more uh, weird little situation right Got anything in my teeth? I'm good. So, <clears throat> oh, what the fuck? Son, you hear that? Okay, anyway, carrying on. Am I hearing things or did you hear that? No, I heard like a, um, like a door close. Okay. All right, let's continue on. We're almost at Tinker Hall number four. <laughs> okay, I gotta reach my back pocket. Tinker Hall four. the coldest breeze I've ever felt out of a room in my life. Did you feel that? Yeah, my new body got me. <laughs> All I'm worried about is my Sprite. I'm gonna put it right there. Look at freezing in this room, bro. Ophelia, we're here. Already, CJ, really? <laughs> oh, that actually got me. Your phone did. Dude, so I just spin around. Okay, I don't know if that was in the room when I first came in or not. Well, <laughs> There's your bed. <laughs> yeah, it was just a... Hang on, Sonny. Let me see. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to sleep right here because I know if two people... Ophelia can't fit on this bed. Ophelia and I cannot <laughs> fit on this bed. But Ophelia and Sonny can fit in that one. Uh... Let me test that one. It's an air mattress. <laughs> See, Ophelia can't come and cuddle with me. Not unless I want her to. I could, cause I could scoot over and let Ophelia get in here with me. <laughs> but she got a lot more room in that bed. I feel like that's her bed. So. Oh. No. <laughs> I can't believe you, man. <laughs> no, hell no. That wasn't me. <laughs> Y'all heard that, right? Comment below right now. You heard that. I didn't even exactly. walk over it's there. It's already had the shit scared out of them. <laughs> Good God, what did you eat? Taco? Oh, Domino's. It was Taco Bell at lunch. <laughs> no joke. Okay, on a serious note, though. <clears throat> this thing right here, Sonny. Yeah. This thing actually, like, slammed. There's no way that thing... 
yeah, dude, that was weird. So when I was here a couple months ago, this thing actually slammed closed and I got it on video and it made the most awfully loud noise ever. Look, there's two toilets. Wow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow, this is... This is a cozy little bathroom. I like it. Yeah, uh-oh. CJ, why is there a lock on that door? Oh, wow. You know what? I noticed that the last time I was here. Can we get in? I doubt it, no. You're not good at picking locks? No, not that, not that good. Yep, Tinker Hall 4. That gives you the instructions to get out. You know what I want to do though? I want to like, I want to look under the bed. A piece of popcorn. Oh man. I was looking up under the bed. <laughs> There's a piece of popcorn, you want it? It's busted my head. <laughs> it's busted my head. Oh my god. Your turn. <laughs> I ain't doing that. Is that knock on the door? Oh, hey, I ain't got the key. No, I do have the key. CJ, I'll tell you what, I don't Did know, you? man. That sounded like... What it, hit? it sounded like hit something hit the door, though. Man, I am so blurry here. No, when that came You're out, actually blurry? You just said it was, yeah, I've been blurry for... Oh, that's day. great. Whew, man. I could have swore I heard a voice. There's all kinds of when weird you said stuff. said that like, kick oh. on. I didn't hear it kick on, I heard a voice. Did you really? Ready to go explore downstairs, my man. Yeah, absolutely, CJ. I'm going to leave... Oh, you're uh, blurry. It's, I'm blurry it's, too. Dude, it's, it's been... That's really weird. Yeah. So I feel like you're messing with your camera. You gonna bring your light? Um, no, I don't think I need it. I'm gonna leave it here on the bed. Oh, okay. Guys, look at Sunny's light. Okay? It's huge. <laughs> okay? And then look at my light. It's huge. <laughs> light here. Hey, it gets the job done, though. I walk it gets around the job with, done. A, um, with a spotlight. Okay. Yeah, I got my light on. So. Never know when you might need to stop at the snack machine. <laughs> okay, let's split up. You go that way. I'm going this way. Okay. See, you, brother. Peace. <clears throat> oh, hey, wait, dude. You got the key, right? Yes, I got the key. Okay. Yep. All right. Cool. I just want to make sure. I'm yeah. No, you're side. not locking this out. You're good. <clears throat> <sighs> what is? Well, that's not creepy left up here is there more rooms or yeah there's not really it's a stairwell it's a stairwell yep okay yeah you just explore around man i'll see you around it's a big hotel
Okay guys, a little bit weird up here, but nice view. Real nice view actually. Still a little busy. It's mainly because um, it's not quite very late out at night and this is like a really popular place. And if you do come here to the Brick Hotel, be sure to lock the doors back. Just, just out of respect for the guests and the owners. Computer. Cool thing is they have free Keurigs here. I did just want to tell you all that. That's pretty neat. Um, here's a fun fact for you. I don't drink coffee. But if I did, I would take advantage of it. Sign my name. <laughs> I love this place and just want to give a shout out to Garth. Again, super nice. Hello? 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 Holy shit, oh my gosh, that scared the ever-living out of me. It clicked the siren right there. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh man, the sirens are out here. Oh, the lights are still out here. Okay, now. <laughs> so guys, 
This is actually the old bank vault right here. <clears throat> and again, you know, you can see they keep it, you know, keep it for supplies and storage. But man, look at the history this thing has. So freaking cool. So awesome. That thing is. Okay, that's not solid steel. That is. Yeah, wow. Okay, you're not breaking into that thing. Oh gosh! <laughs> dude, I've stopped. <laughs> I've just I had to stop. I'm just scared to show. <laughs> Man, that wasn't even funny. Oh, dude. Dude, when I come around that corner, I could swear I was hearing somebody walk. Did you come down the hallway? Uh, -uh no. I swear I could hear somebody coming down the hallway and when I turned around that damn wooden bench thing was rocking but by the time I got the camera on it, it That's stopped. weird. That's really weird. Dude, have you gone to the kitchen? There's some, there's there's some weird, weird stuff. Come with me. This is weird. Bro, I'm telling you right now. Listen, I'm telling you right now. When I was down there. Okay, that was quick. Bro, when I was down there, no joke. <clears throat> I walk into the kitchen area. Nothing's really going on. I'm saying like, hello, is anybody there? Is anybody there? Nothing happened, right? I start walking towards like the bar area. I turn around at the bar. And when I came and started walking back towards like the main dining area, it sounded like it's like a table was like picked up and like, BAM! I heard a bang. I heard a bang upstairs. I stopped Ooh, and walked over my Dude, and it was yeah. right behind me. It could have been like three or four tables back max. I mean, it was crazy, man. I'm not going out first. Yo, dude. Hello. Is this the ball? Yep. Dude, so come here. I want to show you this real quick. You can kind of like see everything. Like it's really like old school looking and stuff. Oh, and then I was right here. And then if you guys go to my video, I was coming out of this doorway right after I got scared in that other room. And then there's a cop car that went right there and went, whoop, whoop, whoop. Scared the hell out of me, man. I thought I got got. <laughs> All right, so we're just a few hours into the night and when I was in the restaurant part, it really creeped me out, just mainly because that noise was really unsettling for me. And if you guys heard it, drop a comment below right now. Really weird, kind of strange. I'm just trying to like document everything as I go on, and that way I can come back, I can recap in these type of videos, so. Oh man, I wonder if these are the plates that Mr. Baker broke. It's 1935. <clears throat> wow. Dude, I bet you that are some of the plates and, and silverware and stuff that Mr. Baker broke. <clears throat> Guarantee it. Took a little break, caught our breath a little bit. Um, 
I think I'm gonna actually go back up these stairs here and um, go back to the room. I gotta grab a fresh battery. And uh, yeah, we should probably refresh our batteries before we keep on filming, but. Hello? I don't know what exactly I heard, dude. I don't know, but you took off. Oh man, I was like, I could have swore I just heard somebody say, come here. And it sounded like it was down there. That's why I walked all the way back and I walked into that room and I heard two knocks. Three knocks is like dim, demonic, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what two knocks is, but that was weird. That's another area we need to take the spirit box. There we go, absolutely. I'm surprised if I don't fall down these steps. Man, this is like a stairmaster from hell. There, it, it creaks a lot. The whole place is creaking. I know, right? Good All right, that's what the keys. Here. That was the keys. Just take the elevator. <laughs> right. <laughs> Good lord. I'm keeping all your farts in my video. <laughs> You're nasty. <laughs> I don't know if I want to get too close behind you, CJ. That thing's loaded. I'd, I'd stay as close as possible. I wouldn't whistle. Man. I'm crop dusting. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, I can't even get the key out of the door. Damn, Damn, dude. Get out of the way of the door so I can shut it. Oh, man. Dude, my shit's dumped out on the fucking bed. What? Oh, fuck. It was here on the chair. Was it? Yeah, it was. Did you come you, back in here? No, I did not. I've not been back in here at all. Bro, for real. And it was Your light still... The, I touched your light. Remember when I put my light right there? Has anything else moved? That's my battery's on charge down there. Uh, bro, did you use a towel? No, I haven't used a towel. This big towel right here. No. Swear on your life. I bit, is it wet? If it was wet, then I may have wiped sweat, but no, I don't remember picking up a towel. No, it's not wet at all. No, I haven't used no towel. Well, we're missing one towel right there, so this has got to be it. You sure you didn't wet your hands? Yeah. No, the soap's not even... The sink's dry. My hand's dry. Okay, that's weird. Bro, this what is, is going on right now? This is my... My... Is that that was yours, right? Yes. What? Somebody's messing with us, dude, or something is messing with us. I should say, for real. That boy, that was right there, bro. Yeah, that thing was right absolutely. there. The more I, I think like about guys, that, go back. Well, regardless, but go back and look. My bag when we walked out of this room was sitting right on that chair. Dude, that is creepy now my as shit. What in the world is going, what See, is going on in here. this hotel? 
What's what? Oh my gosh, we got another secret door. Wow. Why the hell are all these little well, doors with know. locks on them? Well, I mean, they might like keep linens or like, you know, supplies in these closets for all we know. My shit's all in there. <clears throat> I'm more concerned about the towel right now. Well, I'm actually more concerned about that, but then the towel kind of freaks me out now. Because, like, that's all your stuff. Was your bag clipped? It was all shut. It was clipped. It was zip-tied or zip-tied. Drawstring, everything. Sitting right there. The only thing I'd opened up was my camera bag. That's weird. That's really weird. Okay. I'm a little freaked out. My battery's dying now. All right, so I've got my spirit box. I just got it out. We're actually going to take uh, this thing. Shit. What? Spirit box, really? Yeah, dude. That's how we're gonna communicate, my man. You know, Let's I'll go. Better off if I don't hear it, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> Come on with me. Where are we gonna go the first time? CJ's got the key. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna grab the elevator here, and uh, we're gonna go play with the spirit box. We're gonna play with it outside here first on the patio. Oh my gosh. I walked right through here, like this right here, and felt like someone grabbed my arm and pulled it back. Like, not even kidding you. Like, no, I had the, the arm that my spirit box was in. Yeah. I, like, walked, like, right around here, and I was, like, talking to the camera, and it felt like my arm went back, like, somebody pulled my arm back. I thought it was you messing with me, but you're around the corner. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I'm way behind you, bro. That's strange. Oh. Huh. Bernadette Ophelia, do you like me? Is that a no? Or am I just like maybe hearing that? Uh, that's a, a, I've heard what could have been a no, yeah. Hey. It's me. Holy shit. <laughs> My heart just dropped. Bernadette, do you know who I am? What did that say? I thought it sounded like water. You're 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 here at the park. Somebody may have heard something that we didn't. Yeah, somebody you guys might have heard something that we didn't. Um, but we're just trying different areas of the hotel right now. It's not a specific area that we tried right now. We're out here on the on the balcony deck. Beautiful view, by the way. And that's where we figured we'd try first. The second place I want to try is somewhere near the kitchen, and then the third place. The third place is going to be in our room when we try to make official contact with Bernadette. And I feel like Bernadette is watching us out of her room. I'm going to scare Sonny. I'm in the elevator. Loud motherfucker. <laughs> oh! I saw the camera. I'm like, where the fuck did it go? So, first I scared something, and then I didn't hit the button. We were like sat here for like two minutes. <laughs> Stuck in the elevator because he didn't push the button. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more it sounded like you sneezed down there. <laughs> Instead of getting scared, it looked like you were like, oh, you. That's great, yeah. That, that's what I did. I wasn't scared, CJ. Okay? <laughs> Why would I be scared of a haunted hotel? Yeah, me neither. <sighs> Old school still uses a key. Yeah. It's not like a ding ding. <laughs> All right, let's break out the spirit box. <laughs> yeah, it's back on the chair we're supposed to be. Where you put it? All right. So, what we're gonna do now? We're gonna get the uh, spirit box all set up and ready. Wow, my camera just went blurry.
I think I split my head. <laughs> What'd you do? I fell back and struck the fucking desk. <laughs> so I'm good. Bro, that thing went really loud. I think I got lucky and hit the off button. Ow. <laughs> now, in SB7 mode. There's one other guest in this hotel, and I'm not trying to wake them up. Well, they're already woke. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody better talk to us. I'm getting it. Okay, I got questions I'm going to read off. Is there anyone with us here right now? Any spirits present? Murder? Did that thing just say murder? I heard. Okay. Someone was murdered here? Six. Six? You heard six? Is that what you heard too? Six? Either six or I thought it said think so. I thought it said six. I don't know if, I don't know if that's true or not. Is there, any, is there any spirits with us here right now? It's not like it said got you. Bro, that's footsteps. Yo, grab your camera, dude. There's not a people. What kind of hotel you got a people? You heard footsteps though, right? It's not like right outside of our door. Yeah, it's kind of too late for room service. <laughs> Whoa, Sonny D's got his PJs on. Listen, man, I don't usually wear anything, anything CJ, but for the sake of the video, yeah, please. I, I've got some some uh, Walmart special right here, man. Please and thank you. Say, what do you guys wear? What do you guys wear when you go to sleep? They wear Face and Nation socks, actually. They wear Face and Nation Look at them. Socks. Look at them babies. That's the hottest socks in the game. <laughs> what? The hottest, softest, most comfortable pair of socks you will ever own. Go to cjfacing.com forward slash shop. Get your pair of socks. Now, they have Face and Nation on both sides of them. Pretty sick. You can wear them you know, playing soccer. You can wear them with cleats, shoes. You can even wear them uh, with dresses. You know what I mean? Put your high heels on right on after you put this Face and Nation socks on. You know what I mean? It'd be great. <laughs> so I'm going to actually set up the camera. <coughs> you move that pillow? No. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. When I sat down, I didn't even realize that that's my other socks. I threw my socks right there. I did not move that pillow. I swear on my life I did not move that pillow. I bet if I get back in my footage that I guarantee I did not move that. Did you? No, why would I move your freaking pillow? I don't know. 
Maybe I did. I don't know. Jeez. I got to figure out where we want to set up the camera at, guys. Um, I may be thinking over here. Let's see how good of a view this has. If I'm going to be single, I'm going to need a double shot of that heartbreak through you. I'm going to need some whiskey glasses. If I'm going to make it through. You can't even see me. I'm a bean single, I'm a lean double shot of that heartbreak through you. Alright. <sighs> I'm gonna crawl into my comfortable air mattress and I'm gonna invite Ophelia. Ophelia? Yep. Try to crash here. All right, it's time to go to so, sleep. Sonny is, is uh, I said, I'm just telling my viewers it's time to go to sleep. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, we're gonna leave these running as long as we can until they run out of battery. Tell us if you see or hear anything. Um, yeah, we'll about this. Oh man, my feet are hanging off the bed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If she crawls into bed with you and starts rubbing your back, I'm gonna be no good. Okay. If she gets, if starts rubbing my back, I'm gonna go to sleep, dude. I feel, I don't like being this close to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious, I really don't like being this close to the bathroom. We'll close the door? <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's creepy. Oh, gosh, I'm giving her. Hey, I think I just pulled a hamstring. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, bro. <sighs> that's not me, it's a bit. I uh, swear to you, it's a bit. Yeah, okay. Gas ass. <laughs> listen, listen. See, I told you. Yeah. I don't hear it. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah! Damn. Shit. Hey, Sonny. Yes? You ever had ice cream for breakfast? Fuck. What? <laughs> Dude, go to sleep, man. What the hell? Do pigeons have feelings? <laughs> Dude, are you serious? I was just trying to make light of a very weird situation because I feel like Ophelia is standing at the end of my bed, dude. Yeah, well, ask Ophelia if pigeons have feelings about eating ice cream for breakfast. And you never know. You never know. Hey, Sonny. Dude! <laughs> oh, All right, good night. Oh, <laughs> that was you this time. You dirty bitch. Oh my gosh. I bet that one's stung. <laughs> I bet that one's stung. What are you doing? I got hungry. I was hoping it wasn't going to pick you up. <laughs> I'm almost having it open. <laughs> what? We just ate freaking pizza a few hours ago. Just let me finish the back of my nose, okay? <laughs> I'm truly hungry. <laughs> oh. Listen, short of putting them on the bed, I don't know what else to do. You want one? No, thank you. <laughs> sunny, 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 sunny. Tell me the thing that I just 
rattle, bro. Was it the doorknob rattling or you crunching? No. I, <laughs> I had a pillow right over my head. I couldn't hear it. I'm telling you right now, it's a doorknob, dude. I'm that close to the doorknob. I know exactly what that would sound like. That is a doorknob. No, I'm not. I'm telling you right now, bro. I mean, is my camera? Yeah, my camera is still recording. Oh my gosh! Hour and fifty-two minutes has been recorded. Yo. Ain't nothing going on. There ain't a freaking soul or a ghost in sight. I'm telling you, it sounded like this. It sounded like this. Something along those lines. Oh, wow. Yeah, it literally sounds like something like this. Like just a, like a... Bro, that was weird. Dude. <clears throat> yeah, okay. I'm gonna leave the door open now. As long, I know I don't really feel comfortable with the door like that, but... Oh. CJ. CJ. Hey. What? Dude, the damn TV is on. Hmm? What? The TV is on. I'll turn it off. I don't. Did you turn it on? Shit. No, I didn't turn it on. What do you mean you didn't turn it on? I didn't turn the TV on. Guys, okay. Yo, is it over there? Is the clicker over there? Or is it? What the hell is going on, man? You didn't do that for real? No. Go back and watch. If I turn the TV on, comment below because I was asleep. I was dead, dude. I'm beat. 
What's that thing at the top of the TV? Oh, what's that? Is that like a camera or something? What is that? I think it's so you can't steal it. Oh. Huh. I know it does kind of look like a little I camera. I told you it looks like a camera. That's weird, dude. Oh, no. You know what that is? It's probably for the cable. Yeah, that's the cable thing, dude. That's like where the, the remote. Oh. But you swear you didn't touch that remote? Yeah, I didn't touch the damn remote. I was asleep. Are you trying to clickbait me right now? Are you trying to mess with me? No. I'm trying to go <laughs> back to sleep. I've, I've had enough with the banging and the TVs and the, and the, and the stuff.